Hello and welcome to this Landsweeper vulnerability video where today I'll be covering new security vulnerabilities in Zixel products, specifically firewalls and VPN devices. Now these, there's two new vulnerabilities that are both buffer overflow vulnerabilities that can lead to remote code executions. It's important that you update your devices as soon as possible. Additionally, not too long ago, CISA actually added one of the older Sixel vulnerabilities to their known exploited vulnerabilities list. So it's important that you update as soon as possible. If you apply the latest updates, you'll also be protected against that older vulnerability straight away. So let's head into Landsuper and give you a look at how you can get an overview of which devices still need to be updated. So here in my Landsuper site, I can simply search for Zixel or go to security vulnerabilities, and then it will be sorted alphabetically. So which means I will have to go to the end here to get the Zixel VPN firewall vulnerability audit. And as you can see here, we get a full overview of the devices along with their description versions, also the patch status um, and some additional details. Um, as always, if you want to get more information on those devices, you can. Um, but first, I'm going to show you how you can actually make sure that you get the most accurate data you can. Um, for that, I'm going to jump over to Landsweeper Classic, where you'll need to set up your OID scanning. Now, by default, Landsweeper scans quite a number of um, data points about you know, firewalls, VPNs, switches, etc., cetera, um, via SNMP. But specific devices can yield more information if you configure them correctly. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to add to the MIP importer. Now, Zixel does have pretty good resources on showing you exactly where you can find their MIP files. So I encourage you to actually go ahead and uh, take a look at those resources. You can then find a new one, uh, take a look here, and it will be the Zixel ES common is the one that I'm looking for. Specifically, import that MIP file. It'll take a second here to process. And then once it's done processing, I could take a look through all of the OIDs that are in that specific MIP file. Um, so as you can see here, the ones that we're interested in are things like major version, minor version, patch number, and then also the full software version string. And I can add those to a existing target or a new target. I'm just going to do a new target um, at here, like Zixel. Um, go to, I'm going to use one of my dynamic asset groups that I created specifically for Zixel devices. Um, and that's all that I really need to do. I can hit OK here. Um, and next time I scan my Zixel devices, those additional data points will be added. So here on the devices assets page, I can actually head over to scanned OIDs, where it shows me a complete overview of all the OIDs that I added. I added a few more as well to give you things like soft uh, CPU usage, RAM usage, session numbers, things like that. Um, but as you can see here, we have the major, minor, patch number version, and the full version string, which is important because that's the thing that we'll be using to actually be able to generate that report. So without of it, um, you won't be able to get this report itself, it will be empty. So make sure you configure your data correctly um, and uh, take a look at the resources provided in the link in the blog below as well. Um, so with that, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.